Well, hello, fellow photographers, Dan here. Let me show you how you can correct perspective in your photos with the improved transform tool in On One Photo Raw 2026. The transform pane or the transform tool lives here inside of develop. I've closed up some of the other stuff so we can focus just on the transform pane. Now the transform pane's job is to correct perspective and that could be both vertical or horizontal perspective. It can correct rotation. And there's also a couple more advanced features like aspect ratio and shear, which are all used to square up your photo and make it look better. But for me, the biggest change is that now when you make adjustments, it automatically scales and fits the photo to your canvas. You don't get any of those annoying black corners. So here's a photo, it's shot down low, the camera is tilted up and that obviously creates those receding lines, that foreshortening that you get where the two buildings on the left and the right appear to be going into each other. Now, sometimes that can be a fun artistic uh, decision to be made. And you can actually even in accentuate that using the vertical perspective slider. So you can see I could actually tip it back and actually make those buildings look even further uh, away, if, you know, like they're tilting closer together. Or if I go forward, I can actually straighten those lines out. And you see how it gives you a grid overlay so that you can line up the lines with the grid and you can change that grid line. So if I wanted a very precise grid, I could go to the whole 1% grid and, and really line it up that way. But Rather than doing it manually, let me show you how you can do it with the new vertical and horizontal perspective tools. So in this case, I'm worried about the vertical perspective in the photo. So I'm going to select vertical and it puts two parallel lines on my photo. Then all I do is I just line those up on two lines in my photo that should be parallel to each other. The endpoints don't matter. One can be short, one can be long. It doesn't matter what it's really what it's really looking at is the angle between those guys. So I just line those two up and I hit the apply button and boom, it's corrected the vertical perspective, but you notice it's also adjusted the aspect ratio a little bit to compensate for that as well. And it's automatically zoomed the photo. So now, so now those vertical lines are nice and parallel to each other and I've corrected the perspective in it. Let me show you on a couple more photos how this works. So here's an architecture photograph. Now, Sometimes I can actually use the four-cornered keystone tool if I have horizontal and vertical lines that I know are all supposed to match each other. In this case, I'm actually lucky enough to have that. So I'm going to use the four-corner keystone tool. And with this one, I'm just going to set the bottom vertical lines on something that I know should be nice and straight, this line at the bottom. And then I'll do the same thing on the top. And I'm looking at this vertical line here, this vertical line here, this horizontal line that I set the bottom to, and then I can line up with one of these horizontal lines across the top. So I'm just going to adjust this until I get all four of those corners on something that I know should be nice and square. Looks like I went just a skosh high on that one. We'll bring it down. There we go. We know that that shape should be a rectilinear shape if everything is corrected correctly. So I'll just hit the apply button and bam, look how everything is now nice and square. And it adjusted the horizontal and vertical perspective, the rotation, the aspect ratio, and even the shear to be able to create a nice, perfectly parallel architecture shot just like that. Let me turn it on and off so you can see the difference. There's before and there's after. One of the other great things about this is there's now an amount slider, which you can actually use to manually increase or decrease all of those adjustments. So even though it might be perfect mathematically, you might not look as pleasing to you if it was quite as perfect. So I can now actually use the amount slider to reduce or increase the overall amount of adjustment just by moving that slider. And that can be a great way to tune it to your taste. You can keep your artistic uh, purpose while still getting things nice and squared up. All right, there you go. That's the new improvements in the transform pane. Thanks for watching.